I have nothing. I come from nothing. I'm always just hungry, you know, it's just, you know, you see where I'm from and, you know, I'm, I'm giving these kids hope. I think about kids that live in my neighborhood and, you know, if they were in my position, would they rest? I know they wouldn't, so that's why I go so hard. It's a low-income neighborhood, no secret about that. Um, we live in um, government housing. Um, you know, it's a day-to-day it's -day grind, you know, it's a struggle and, you know, it's tough. You know, it's tough to make it out of here. I get to go to college, you know, most of my friends haven't graduated from high school yet. And I made it to a point where I, I'm, I'm graduate. You know, I'm about to be in college. I graduated high school, so it's a blessing for me to to come out of Blake Street, an environment where it's pretty tough, and you know that you can go left or right. You know, and unfortunately, thank God I went right. This is the best neighborhood because I say that because it, it made me who I am today. You know, it, it brought me up. I had people around me like my brothers that kept me out of trouble, and my mom, my dad, who installed you know a lot of strictness to me. But it only helped, and I, I'll never change a day. Um, I would never change a day thus far to where I am today. I would, I'll do it all over again. This is a neighborhood. There's, there's the positive side of, of you know, living your life and the negative side. And uh, it's all about who your role models are in, uh, in the streets, too, you know? I'm a role model to my little brother, so whatever I do, he's going to look at it and, like, take it, take it in. And, and I don't want to be somebody to lead my, my little brother the wrong path. I used to buy slam magazines. I don't know if you, I used to buy them all the time, and he used to be there just looking, 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 taking pictures, posting up on the wall, and just dreaming, dreaming, dreaming. What do I see now? I see hunger. Um, I don't see him being phased, you know, by all the attention. You know, he's driven to not because of the limelight, but because it's something that he loves. It's his gift, you know, and he's. I don't even think he's, rich, he's reached his highest altitude. I think there's, there's more to come. I have goals that I write down every year, and one of them were, you know, all the goals that I wrote down last year came true. The goals were I wanted to become a McDonald's All-American. I wanted to be regarded as one of the best point guards in the world. Um, you know, I never set a small standard. I always go for high standards because, like, like I said, I come from nothing, so I always try to reach for the top. It's the, the drive, the drive to get the, to get the family out of a neighborhood that's not really the safest neighborhood. You know, um, we lost one of our greatest mentors who taught Mike how to play ball, uh, Kempton Howard. Kempton was caught in between uh, some misunderstandings, you know, with a couple guys in the neighborhood, and um, he got basically shot, you know, over some stupidness. You know, he started the whole program in here at East in Blake Street. So after he left, a lot of the basketball programs died. So he was really key in this neighborhood. So that's one motivation. I have goals and aspirations to go really far. And not just with basketball, it's just helping human beings. And you know, I have a long way to go. Um, hopefully I can turn this game that we're about to have in here as a charity event, as, a, as it grows and my name grows. Nah, we don't need no security, man. It's my neighborhood, man. My security's my neighborhood, so we're good, man. Oh, it's gonna be rowdy when the real game starts. <laughs> nah, I'm not in your run. I'm not in your run. I got my team. I got my team. Don't worry about that, man. <laughs> Y'all gonna come who? Y'all gotta come watch, man. You know, we got this place fired up. Huh? <laughs> uh, why are you showing up late? <laughs> nah, man, let's trap See what happens when you get to the NBA? I'm here to, you know, to give back to the community and just, just get a run in. You know, this is Mike's, Mike's area, Eastview, and, you know, I came down here last year to play, so I get to the little annual yearly event. Ah, uh, nah, nah. Let me get out here. Let me get out here. Corey Joseph. Yeah. Fashionably late. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to learn. That's my brother. What's up, man? Yo, he's going to learn. He's going to learn quick with that organization. You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was not in Blake would I have had played basketball and you know this this place had a lot to do with my upbringing and you know my game so I say basketball kind of found me after that I found it because I fell in love with it.
I know how hard I work. When the lights are not on, when the cameras are not around, when people are not around. I know I've seen other guys that are, you know, some of the top guys work, they don't work as hard as me. It's hope for the whole country, that's what I am, you know, really for kids that come from nothing and, you know, don't have a lot, but, you know, they got to know that they have, you know, there's hope. There's hope at the end of the tunnel. And if you just continue working hard and, you know, stay out of trouble and treat people right, because that's what I've learned from my parents, you'll go very far. So, and it's working for me. It's my everything, it's my love.